We're going to do a cold start on this uh, Bolens tube frame 1050. I forget what year it is. This one hasn't actually been sitting as long as some of my other junk. Probably about three or four years since it ran. And I got it running pretty good, but I didn't finish up what I was doing to it, so it still needed some electrical work and a new choke cable. And the throttle on it wouldn't stay in place, so you give it gas and it works its way back in. So I'll have to fix that too. And I'm sure there's wasps in it too. Yep, there's some right there. I hate those things. Looks like a dead nest from probably last year or so. It's got a Wisconsin engine. I think that makes it a 10 horsepower, I'm not sure. It's been a while, <laughs> been too long. Alright, let me go hunt up a, a battery and some fuel. Alright, see if it'll at least crank.
need a little more power. I'll be right back. This unit uses the generator as a starter as well. And I had had problems with it in the past. So that might need more attention too. I jokingly call it a starter rater. in the carburetor since we really don't have a choke. Part of the problem is the belt slipping, so I'll grab a wrench and tighten that up. are not happy for being evicted. It's not slipping, but we're still not getting a lot of revolution out of her. Let's see if we're getting a spark at least.
It's like what they used in the old flathead wheelies. It's even bigger than a Ford plug. Okay, so we now have power at the coil with the key on and the key in the start position. But we still don't have a spark. So that tells us points. And it's getting too late to start on tearing the front of this thing apart, so that's going to be it for today. Bring it back. Okay, I deviated from working on the engine from right now because I do know it runs fine. And I got to what I've been wanting to do, and that's put in a hitch on this thing so I can move log splitters and trailers and whatnot around the yard. Because the factory hitch is way too low and too close in to do any good. It's just for garden carts and things like that. So I made this out of scrap metal. I welded this plate to the bottom of the toolbox. Then I put an angle bracket on the factory hitch. Put some inch and a quarter flat stock to support this. And then put a cross piece on it to reinforce it. This should be rigid enough. I mean this thing is solid. It's not moving a bit. But if for some reason it should fail and I have to revisit it, I'll just fab up a plate to uh, fit between the toolbox and the axle and sandwich it in there and then attach the, the uh, hitch to that plate. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be more than sufficient. And I mounted it low on this because I wanted to retain some of the suspension too so when I put the saddle back on I still got a few inches of the suspension before it'll bottom out on the plate. So I do believe we're in good shape on that. I'll put the saddle back on and the next step will be to tackle that engine. And there it is with the saddle back on. And you can see I've retained 
Good deal of the suspension there. So I think that's going to work nicely. Now, I looked it up and this tractor been sitting a little bit longer than I remembered. It was actually five years since I've ran this. Um, I wasn't shooting video back then, but I did get a couple of still shots I'll post in here. <laughs> the carburetor was hilarious. I mean, most of us know not to use our TV sealant on a carburetor, but the person that worked on this before not only used our TV, they used almost a whole bottle of it. The stuff was in the bowl, it was in the jets, it was in the passages. I mean, it was just full of that crappy blue RTV. So, I'll post those pictures. Might get a laugh out of that. I don't recall if I've ever been into the housing before to work on the points. I kind of don't think I did. That'll be a new experience for me with this Wisconsin engine. But that's where we will start on the next video. I think this will be part one. And we'll start part two by working on those points. So as always, thanks for watching.